Hey guys, and this is a January sales video and I know this video is quite late but I didn't have time before because I was away and then I was really busy with my college work because I had a lot to catch up on. So my sales haul isn't massive because I didn't get to go shopping till quite late but I'm super happy and honestly I can't wait to share with you guys the things that I got. So if you want to see my January sales haul then keep on watching. So I'm going to start with a purchase that I'm most excited about and it is from American Apparel and this year American Apparel had amazing sale like no other honestly they had 40% of their very famous stuff which was amazing and I got one thing from them but then the day after I went to Camden and I got another thing so I'm honestly so happy because both of these things I wanted to have for ages so firstly from Oxford Street I picked up a pair of disco pants which I'm so happy about because I did save quite a lot of money they're in this mint green color and they look like that they're just so beautiful perfect for the special occasions they're very eye-catching and look they were reduced from 74 pounds to 44.40 And from Camden I picked up a pair of riding pants and I'm so happy because I don't actually own any riding pants. I really wanted to. I always seen them online and on YouTube and when I tried these on I instantly fell in love and I knew they have to be mine especially because of the amazing sales that they were on. And they look like this. They're in this purple shade so they're super high waisted and then they go like that and they are rolled up but they're also quite long and beautiful and such a good material and perfect for winter as well because they feel quite thick so they are such a beautiful pair of riding pants I'm so excited the quality is amazing and they were originally well I don't know how much they were originally because it doesn't say it just has this yellow label which means it was 40% off oh yeah they were reduced from 64 pounds to 38 pounds 40 which was even cheaper than the disco pants And the next place where I went to was River Island and unfortunately when I went there most of the things were already sold out from my sizing but I was able to get two pairs of shorts that I'm really so in love with. They are very fancy looking shorts, good for parties, nights out but also I think for the spring and summer time they will be perfect. And the first pair is in this silver color and they look like this. I'm sorry about the lighting you guys, the lighting has gone crazy because of the colors I think on here. They are very metallic silver shorts with a nice floral detail. They look like this from the back so they do have a zip as you can see. And they are very high waisted but they are not too short either. Like I do really really like them, they look really nice on and they were reduced from... 30 pounds to 8 pounds. Other ones are very similar, they are sort of similar idea but they look a little bit different. They are black, they look like this and they have less floral detail and they are less symmetric. They are not very symmetrical with their floral patterns I don't think because look you have like half a flowers at one side and then at the back you have lots of flowers at one side and almost none at the other side but I actually quite like this look I think they look very unusual and different Another place where I went to was Topshop and the first thing that I picked up from them was a crop jumper which I thought would look really nicely with the riding pants from American Apparel because not only the fact that the jumper was cropped would go nicely with high waistness of the pants I also thought the color match was perfect so this is the jumper and it is from Topshop Petite and I'm actually not sure if it's meant to be cropped or it just cropped on me because it's Topshop Petite plus it's in UK 4 which I don't mind because I'm quite small on my top half but it is really quite tiny it looks like this so it's in this really nice kind of, I don't know what you would call this color, it's darker than a taupe I don't know, you can see for yourself kind of this golden champagne color and it's really nice and fluffy which is my favorite type of jumpers the ones that are nice and fluffy because they feel so nice, they keep you warm 
and yeah as you can see it's quite nice and cropped and it doesn't have big of a collar like usually I like my collars to be quite large and this one doesn't but I think it looks so nice on this just because it's cropped and it was reduced from 36 pounds to 10 pounds And the second thing that I picked up from Topshop, I only got because my best friend made me get it. She wanted to get a matching beanie with me and it's quite plain and simple. That's why I wouldn't really get it myself, but she wanted it. She wanted me to get one because basically she said it would be perfect for when we go to Paris because we're going to go on a motorbike in Paris and she thought it would be windy. So the beanie like that would be perfect and it looks like that. It's just a plain navy blue beanie it's quite nice actually i just i'm not very big fan of plain beanies i sometimes like them with patterns but usually not very plain so that was the last clothing item that i got in the sales and now i'm moving into beauty and miscellaneous things so firstly i have these revlon photo ready skin lights and i heard about these quite a lot on youtube some people really like them so i decided to pick them up because they were on sale for boots for like buy one get one half price or something like this so i thought i would pick two in different colors and i have one in the shade 200 pink light which looks like this and the other one in the shade 300 peach light and they are basically liquid highlighters and when you open it up you just twist it open it up it comes with this little pump i have used these already and just with my finger i like to apply it however i don't really know if i like them that much just as yet because the method that i was using them I didn't quite like because it was rubbing my foundation and my bronzer off. I think about mixing these with my foundation maybe and that will probably look nicer than uh, me just putting them on top of my foundation because I didn't quite like that look so I can't really tell you guys if I like them or if I'm happy with this purchase but I will update you on how I get on with these. This year, just like last year, Soap & Glory had amazing deals on their Christmas stuff. They had half off. Last year I was also able to get some amazing things from Soap & Glory and if you want to see them, then I'm going to link you down below to my last January sales haul video from 2014. So the first thing that I picked up from Soap & Glory this year was this. And this is just this cute little box of soap for the best and it basically contains all the travel size products of their best selling skincare items which is so exciting because I get to try some of the products that I've never tried and they're all very generous sizes as well. When you open it up the first thing that you get is like this massive body polisher which is so big and smells really nice and it feels nice and it's always good because you can always wash your body with this it's quite handy and then you get four products and the first thing that you get is scrub, the scrub of your life, ultimate super smoothing body butter. It looks like this. It's 50 ml of this skin exfoliator, which I haven't tried, so I'm really excited to try this one out. The second is the Righteous Butter. It looks like this. You know, guys, that I love this thing. I use this every time I get out of the shower. I love the smell. I love how thick and moisturizing it is. And this is just a cute travel size of 50 ml. Then you have Clean On Me Creamy Moisture Shower Gel, which I have tried before and I really do like it. I love the smell and I love how nice it feels and how good it cleans your body. And this is 75 ml. And then the last thing is another thing that I haven't tried yet and I want to try it so bad. It is hand food, hydrating hand cream, 50 ml. The second thing that I picked up from Soap and Glory from their Christmas stuff was just their Righteous Butter in this cute little Christmas decoration pot. And this was reduced from six pounds to three pounds. And I honestly regret not picking two of these or three of these. I really do regret it because it's my favorite body butter. But when I went there last time, the sale was over on these. You may argue that this isn't exactly the full size because when you open it up, 
it looks quite big but it's 200 mil and the full size that I own is 300 mil even though it looks a lot bigger it's only 100 mil bigger it's not even half size bigger it looks half size bigger but it's not I picked up one thing from Lush and this actually wasn't on the sale I'm not sure if Lush had the Christmas sale this year they probably did but I must have missed it because when I went there they didn't have any of the sales available but I just picked one thing and it is a lip scrub and it's called the kiss lip scrub for Hollywood kisses and it looks like this and I'm not sure you guys is this product new or not because I've never seen it like I do know some of the lip scrubs such as popcorn or the mint one or bubblegum one but I've never seen this one around so I don't know if it's new or not well it is new for me because I haven't seen it and it basically looks like this has some candy on top and the lip scrub is this really bright fuchsia color and smells really nice it smells very intensive of cherries and a little bit of candy it's just so nice and I did swatch it in store and I really liked it the only reason why I needed this was because my bubblegum lip scrub basically went out of date like this is a massive pot of lip scrub and I think I had it for a year and as you can see there's a lot of of the products still left in this but it went out of date because at the back it says use by date and I just don't feel like it's safe anymore for me to use this I also got this and this is lightning to USB cable one meter so this is basically the cable for my iPhone 5s and I'm the worst with cables especially the ones that charge my phones like I've been through so many of my iPhone 5s cables and iPhone 4s like they always seem to break on me and I just needed a new one and this is quite expensive I paid 17 pounds on this and it's just a cable it doesn't even have the USB to socket connection thing it's just literally the cable I mean it is one meter one and it is from Apple but I still think it's a bit excessive to charge you 17 pounds for a cable but I really needed it because I won't be able to charge my phone if the one that I have now will break but the one that I have now I will show you in a minute basically that's how it looks so I can see it breaking very very soon so I knew I needed this just in case Scott if this one breaks and I don't have an alternative I won't be able to charge my phone so I don't know what I would have to do and my last two things that I got are my favorite makeup removers at the moment which are the Garnier Simply Essential Soothing 2-in-1 Makeup Remover removes even waterproof makeup no perfume, no alcohol, no rubbing and honestly you guys these are amazing like they're amazing for taking your makeup off but I can see some people wouldn't like them especially the ones with oily skin they are very oily based so if you don't mind feeling an oil on your face like say if you use coconut oil or if you use baby oil to remove your makeup in the evening you should be you should like these because they are also oil based but if you hate having any oils on your face then I wouldn't recommend them because basically the blue thing as you can see which flows on the top of a liquid is basically some sort of an oil I don't know what sort of oil it is but it is an oil it has a very oily texture however this feels the most oily firstly when you start using this after a while this oil kind of comes off and you end up with this liquid I mean you're supposed to shake it before you use it the oil quickly very quickly transfers to the top anyway and it's really hard to mix them two together okay guys so that is the end Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please like this video and subscribe to me if you're not already. And I will see my next one. Bye!